We spent the semester with Andrew um, in totalization designing it and then it was kind of further developed for this site during a, a class called Construct, I guess this class, where they you know, got kind of assigned this site and tweaked the, de the design some and got that set up. And then over the summer, Alex and I drew construction documents and now we're here. <laughs> so we've been working on this for over a year now, I guess, a year and a half almost. The design, while it will certainly look pretty contemporary, it's based on a historic typology, something called a dog trot, which was a common uh, type of housing in Houston. A small house, which essentially is two separate living spaces, often a kitchen and more public spaces on one side and a kind of bedroom space on the other side that tends to be um, separated by an open breezeway or porch. So it creates a nice like kind of breezeway space between the volumes so that's nice and it's sh shaded and good for kind of hanging outside in Houston hot weather. Um, also we were thinking about um, energy consumption and so in the smaller volume um, the one that doesn't exist right now that's a bedroom and a bathroom so kind of programs that are inhabited at night and then the one that we're working on now, that's the living room, kitchen, and dining room, so kind of like daytime programs. So the idea is that you could have only one of them air-conditioned at a time, or like all the lights on at a time. So you're really only kind of powering half of the building at a time instead of in a typical house where you're powering the entire building all the time. The students are in the midst of framing, which is obviously a really important step in the construction process. The framing and the insulation are all kind of special. They're kind of custom designed to increase the insulative capacity of the, of the building. The project itself, when it's complete, will be um, at minimum net zero, meaning it will be completely self-sustainable in terms of its energy production. So this is challenging, I would say. It's also challenging uh, with respect to the digital fabrication. We've been using you know, the CNC mill, and Katie and I are both <laughs> pretty efficient and learned of, at that now, to set up jigs, to cut our bracing, to cut portions of the sheathing. And, and that in itself has been quite a learning experience. It's exciting to see something that you know you drew a year ago actually start to exist. I'm very grateful to be working on it um, and I'm grateful for this opportunity both with Rice and, and with Andrew here to kind of bring me along um, <laughs> and let me hang out <laughs> all the trouble that I caused.